And we're back with Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations. I'm Rob. We have Lawrence, the star of the show. Hi. Uh, and we have George, Hi. the I'm side George. character that everyone loves more than the main cast. Oh my Christ. <laughs> Whilst that is true, I resent that. <laughs> I'll continue investigating on this side of the building. Yeah, yeah, sure. Have fun. Yeah, you're gonna do all the good work. Yes, I'm counting on you. Welcome back, Mr. Edgeworth. I waited here the whole time now. Come on, let's get back to our investigation. Come on, I want to punch something. And I'm punching you in the shoulder. I'll destroy you, small child. I am jabbing you in the neck. I'll right. destroy you, small child. Is they're literally going to make us do a sequence where we just do this. <laughs> then you have to go upstairs now. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, he's just smiling here, just in the room of Burns and where his secretariat died. He's just still smiling. To think, after all that running around, we're right back where we started. It would appear that way. Dog! Oh, I forgot the voice. This is quite normal. Hi, Mr. Etroff. No, sneezing Mark of you. Have you found Manny's killer yet? Yes, I'm staring right at him. Oh, you got me. <laughs> I knew it. There's no way he can be just smiling and standing in this room. Polano's far too honest to kill anybody. He would have admitted it immediately. He's like, well, uh, I do know who Manny's killer is. Why, why do you know that? Because I'm the one who did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, after, so after he so fucking willingly just like, how do you know it's fucking Alabaster statue? Because it's the real one. What? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Master Plano, but I've yet to find his killer. I guess his murder really has, uh, really was the work of the Yatagarasu. Let's get one thing straight. It was the work of the fake Yatagarasu. The real Yatagarasu was a noble vigilante who was only out to steal the truth. No one cares! Miss Faraday, please don't make such a sad face. If there's anything I could do for you, you have to do is ask, all right? Mr. Polano, you're not gonna offer me Tetris 99 coupons again, are you? You weren't supposed to guess that straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there is one thing you can do. Will you allow us to take another look around? We didn't have enough time to start a thorough investigation earlier. Oh, sure. Please feel free to investigate to your heart's content. Well, there are a few questions I'd like to ask you personally, Ambassador. If it will bring a smile back to Miss Faraday's face, then I'll gladly answer anything. Thank you, Mr. Polano. You're a total gentleman. <laughs> you don't have to waste such nice words on me, little miss. <laughs> hey, Sir Polano. Those two got chummy awfully quick. Polano's a nice guy, come on. Yeah. I mean, he is a nice guy, he's a cool dude. Like, oh, he's the chillest, he's the chillest Phoenix Wright character ever. Everyone talks shit about the annoying people because everyone's got something to hide. Not fucking Polano over here. Polano's just mean, a genuine dude. But it, it's just like, yeah, no, I'm, I ain't lying. I'm, I'm just gonna take you. I'm here, out. guys. I'm here to be helpful. I just murdered six people. I'm just gonna tell you outright. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's easy to say we're going to investigate, but where should we begin? We should probably start by comparing the state of this room before and after the fire. And then we should look into the matter of the suspicious person you spotted. Yeah, when I came into this room, that person was already gone. Why did he tell us she said Nya? Nya? Nya. To be fair, K and a katsu would be awesome. Um... Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know how you feel. Hello, come on. Nico outfits are <laughs> awesome. Anyway, uh... But I'm willing to bet that's the person I was chasing is Mr. Cochin's killer. We don't know that yet, however, it's hard to believe that person is unrelated. Furthermore, because the key the Yatagaratu stole seven years ago was found here, it signals that perhaps the Miss Yu is also somehow involved. I knew it. That woman is almost definitely Mr. Cochin's killer. Yet again, we don't know that. There are too many mysteries to be solved in this case. Speaking of the Yatagaratu and mysteries, I received a most mysterious photo from Detective Bad. Uncle Bad? He's taking part in the investigation too? Yes, he's been chasing after Yatagarasu for all these years. Uncle Bad. He also just told me that he found your... I don't know. Uh, that's even that. Wow, no, you're thinking it's that really fucking weird now. 
<laughs> it was accident. It was accidental to me. I was like, I was talking a joke. Couldn't figure He's out. He's seventeen, joke. Lawrence. Chill the fuck out. Says the guy who wants to see him in a necklace. Suit. <laughs> Seeing someone in a cute outfit is not the same. <laughs> Anyway, if he's back now, good, 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 good. Now then, I was just, I was just told that this photo was taken just after the fire. And now George's Paleno has officially died. Can't believe it. Nah, what? that's my cousin, Ambassador George. George Leno. <laughs> <Mr>. Paleno. <laughs> he sells Tetris 66. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? This kind of looks like the person in the long coat I was chasing. Does this mean? That I was chasing the fate Yadagarasso after all, even though he's running on the wall like a fucking Warframe character? I don't know the answer to your oh, question, sorry. but I don't think he's a guy either. But and this could be how that person free. escaped. Look at him, he's Naruto running. Because he played, because ninjas get to play free. It's obvious. Ninjas get to steal free. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to investigate a bit more before we can say anything about that. Tetris 99, ninjas play free. <laughs> In any case, let's not do it anymore and pick up our investigation where we left off. Now we talk to Paleno. I don't think we need to talk to him for anything, but well, I guess we, I guess we might have Oh yeah, we did need to talk to him. Didn't we? Now then, Ambassador, I'd like to ask about your movement before the fire broke out. Oh, the fire broke out? Hmm, yes, which fire are you talking about? A lot of which, fires. Which one? There was more than one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Look! I saw Tetris 99 for 5.99. A lot of people like keep saying it's free. Like this dude named Lawrence, I know he he sent me a lot of things that are very combustible. I don't I don't, I don't know why, but I, I guess you didn't hear about it, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two fires here at the Babylonian Embassy tonight. What a borrow that was! I lost like. 20 copies of Tetris 99 or so. Wait, but the only fire we know about is the one after the Jammin' Ninja show. Uh, well, the first occurred. Started the Jammin' Ninja show, see? Yes. Mm -hmm. He was jamming so hard, he set fire to the entire building. We ask someone, uh, what was the state of it before the fire? And someone says, which fire? That's a fucking recipe for disaster right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific. What do you mean, more specific? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, only the fourth and fifth floors of our embassy caught on fire, though. God forbid floor six got on fire. That's where we keep Mega Tetris 99. Mega Tetris 99? I wanted to cause a panic among the, the theater girls, so we decided to keep it internal. What's the difference between you know, Tetris 99? No one can smell fire. <laughs> What's the difference between Tetris 99 and Mega Tetris 99? The second one is abbreviated well, as Mattress 99. Why is it 1099? I thought that's just where they were working. <laughs> I thought that's where they were working on Tetris 100. <laughs> no, 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 George. If you're not going to... No, that's the, that's oh, the next expansion after Mega Tetris 99. God damn it, you were under yeah, an NDA. Man, <laughs> just because you're my cousin doesn't that mean I will not fire your ass. God damn it. Stop the fire after the Daring just shows the second one of the night. Yes, yeah, the second one of this night, yes. So the fire eyewitness was the second one. Today, now, I yes. Don't know about, can, can I just say, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like the fourth floor to me. Just like the idea that Babala is just relatively flammable. So, so, so wait, so did the first fire take care of both the fifth and the fourth? Does that mean the second fire went on the second, I guess? Well, fire travels upwards, so if it starts on the fourth floor, it carries up to the fifth one. I bet about the second one, I was like, I don't know. Can yes. it? Didn't Detective Bat make reference to the first fire? It's, it's just how fire travels. For example, um. No, it's just what, no, it's just um, my question here is, if it's only the fourth, fifth floor that one fire, why is this floor on fire? Nothing like the fourth, fourth, fifth floor to me, dude. Why is this floor? We're not on the first floor. <laughs> no, we're, no, but we're not on the. That doesn't look like the fourth floor, does it? Yes, because uh, in the UK you count the first floor as the first floor up from the ground floor. In the US you count the first floor as the first floor you walk into. Yeah, in Bavao, sure apparently like... the first floor is somewhere else. <laughs> 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 to be fair, if we consider yeah, that it has like... I mean, yeah, let's, let's, yeah. Let's, let's check the organizer for this actually. I'm pretty sure, I'm going to presume that the sec that's the second fire where, where it happens. I don't, think we, I don't think we have the thing yet. First of all, this is yeah. even wrong as well, because first of all, Right, you can see that the the fire starts on the uh, on the third floor. Yeah, and, then, and you can see some of it in the. Uh... No, no, that must be the second floor because if you look down one more, that's the door right there. 
What the that's... fuck is going on? So in, in the UK, though, that's the first floor. Yeah, it's only the American, so this is the first floor. So that is the second floor right now. So uh, we can see the door going up to the thing. So that's the first floor. There's a fire yep. on the second floor. Second floor. Right? There's a fire on, there's a bit of the fire on the third floor. Third floor. Right? The floor and then above is the fourth the, floor. The, fo the fourth floor is completely untouched. But the floors I mean, are meant to, like... But but the fucking thing is meant to be like above. It, it's the two floors below the roof. How do you fuck that up completely? It's fine. Let's just see what they say. I think that's the second fire. Although I think. Piss off. What's that? Hold on. Well, I think this is based off of Czechoslovakia, and I believe most European countries use the same system as the UK, so that would be the first floor. Like, either way, it's still wrong. Let, let's, let's move. Let's move on. Before we get into more trouble. There, it's that next line. And if he's back now, so he can do this. When was this photo taken? Apparently, right after the fires on the fourth and fifth floors. But, ouch. I suppose that this means that this photo was taken just after the first fire was put out. So then, okay. what was the extent of the damage in the second fire? Yeah, there we go. Wait, the second floor no. is contained to this floor and the third floor. Oh no! Okay, now now everything makes sense. Life makes Wait. sense. No, no, it does not, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what we discussed? That the floor that was on fire was directly above the ground floor. I mean, you see the, you see the, the problem here, Rob. could be the basement, couldn't it? No, because well, that's that's the normal one, I'm pretty sure. That's what the door, you can see that's what the door is. Like that's what the little that well, little. To be fair, was. he was like Edgeworth is at the bottom and he's facing he's facing the fire yeah, when he's looking up. But the door is yeah. actually the door is actually to the um. Yeah, but it's one he's one set of windows. No, below. no, no, no. Hold, hold on. The door is actually to the um. It would be to the left of him. So that wasn't actually <laughs> the door. That was just an open window. Maybe I don't know. Who knows. <laughs> Which floor is on? <laughs> it's probably. I mean, that, floor I mean that's right because. Uh, <laughs> it's hey, hey, I think it's right now. It's just that there's something there's something in the now. evidence that makes it look like it's the. Um, it just looks weird. It's, it's a door instead of an open window. It's not evidence. It's just a picture. It's just a screenshot. Anyways, that's how should I put this? A very bad stroke of luck. 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 Yeah, luck. A very bad stroke of luck. One day you'll be able the to see words. The office is on the fifth floor. Manny's office was here. And Manny himself all gone in the blink of an eye. Sounded like you had a very intimate relationship with this Manny. <laughs> yes, he smuggled Tetris 99 up his bum for me. <laughs> okay. I feel so sorry for you, Mr. Palino. Do you mean the original copy you ripped to make the other copies? Shut up. <laughs> Oops, look at me going on and on now then. What is... What was it you wanted to ask again? Yes. We were discussing all your actions and whereabouts for the day you were. And you happen to know what Mr. Cochin's actions were about were as well. Be sure to leave out all of the details that involve Tetris 99. <laughs> Very well, let's see. I've been quite busy all day from morning until now selling Tetris 99 Mega Edition. <sighs> so I woke up, then I brushed my teeth, and after that, and I rolled for breakfast. And went down and sold shit. Fascinating. I don't care. I also had a sandwich. I care. I'm like you. Have a relevant part for me, please. I also had a sandwich. I'm like you. Oh, do you like a condensed sandwich? I can do that for you. Yes. Man was about to give his life story, so I was born on the. <laughs> I was born on the night. Uh, so my parents got this really nice out in the hotel. My parents went to a Dodgers game, right? And then, <laughs> boom, so bam, they got kicked out for indecent morning. exposure. <laughs> so what did you and Mr. Coach and you do this morning? Well, we lied in bed and switched sweet nothings into each other's ears. <laughs> it like we were supposed to meet, uh. supposed to meet and shake hands with the jamming ninja. But we got, got real hungover last night. Man, I wanted to turn it up to a photo op. 
We were tidying up his office. Seat. He speaks about Manny like he's his fucking husband. I mean, whatever he is, calm the fuck down. I ship it. You have to clean Mr. Hogan's office. Why are you not cleaning your own? Oh, I think I forgot to mention this, but my office is currently undergoing renovations because it was set on fucking fire. <laughs> Which is why both the Prima Duck statue and the Babylon's knife set are down here. Yes. I see. Oh, but it didn't take much, really. Yes. Elbow grease and all that. Just burned some files we no longer needed and expired. Coupons in the fireplace. Except this one here. Tetris 99, 599. I bet cleaning Coupon. up the fireplace must have been a real pain, though, huh? <laughs> yes. You just said you burned all of them that 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 all the expired coupons is set down. Does that mean that coupons expired? No. Don't read the fight print. <laughs> ah, about that. I forgot. Kind of forgot to clean the ashes out. Haha, <laughs> I guess I'm up I'm up shit creek about Manny here to get angry at me. An ambassador to stop on Manny. the end of the secretary's anger. Oh, he was very good at being very mad. Why even just this morning he got mad at me? Never mind, I no yes. longer ship this. Man, he's an abusive husband. <laughs> no, you will ship it. You will fucking like it, weird voice in my head. <laughs> Built some Beverly sink onto the back wall when I was burning the fudge scene, and then BAM! Man, he hit me right in the kisser. He got mad at me, saying that I should treat the ink with more respect. And that I'm a bitch. Does he deserve it? Apparently, orders go up the chain of command around here. <laughs> That's about it for what we did this morning. Just some cleaning, some beatings. Don't tell me you had no other work to Tetris do. Tetris 99. Ambassador and all. I mean, he was too busy selling Tetris 99, but you told him to leave that part out. <sighs> I told him to leave that out part out because I'm an inanimate voice in everyone's head. Yeah, he left it in anyways. Now then! Wait, she doesn't tell me what to do. Would you be telling me what Mr. Coke did this afternoon? They fucked. <sighs> you did ask. <laughs> well, man and I went down to get to the theater the trollis, and then we banged, okay? <laughs> and to be there for the start, it's just summer and stage, so that was a quickie. I some of my jokes. When the show started, I went back to my office on the fifth floor alone. What was that? Today we can say we have to get on till the show of the Steam Samurai show. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> well, well, later after that, I had to straighten myself up a bit. Returned to the theater. With five copies of Tetris 99 and I only sold three. You believe that shit? <laughs> But I was to take part in the photo up on stage at the end of the show. Hmm. There was a commercial of Photoshop at the end. It was a fantastic photo of the three of us, the ambassador. How about this just on my hand to myself? Very nice. Very nice indeed. After the photo shoot, I went back to my office on the fifth floor. God, I talk a lot. I'm getting tired. Prepare, prepare for the handshake photos of up with the German ninja. He did he rather overworked for my ambassador. Didn't you just complain that he had no other work to do? I know, right? No one can please this man, right? <laughs> when I got to my office, that's when the first fire broke out and I escaped down the stairs. Crying like a little bitch. <laughs> I was completely destroyed, but thankfully no one was hurt. Except my pride. <laughs> I admit I ran away from the first fire as fast as my legs could carry me, going, No! No! Tetris! God save me! <laughs> During the second one, I pitched in and helped them. Embassy staff put it out. It's like after the I first one, the second one fire just... Fire. The second one just starts up and Polina's just like, oh, for fuck's sake, not again. <laughs> second one, he's, he, he put it out with the copies of fake copies. He grew a pair between the first and second fires. 
Uh, how did you put out the fire, the, the fire planer? You really want to know? Do I? Look, I was scared shitless from the first one. What happens when you get scared sometimes? So you didn't see the Mr. Coachman again after the start of the Sea of Samurai show? Yes, that's right. The next time I saw him, he was lying there in an internal sleep. I see. And Master Planer, I thank you very much for your help. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more assistance, Mr. Edgeworth. Would you like to buy a copy of Mega Tetris 66 from my cousin George? <laughs> no. Where the fuck are you, are you sure about this? It's Tetris 66. Really... Walk it away. It's like 99, but upside down. <laughs> it's Australian, you see. I just imagine Palermo following him out. The there. Room. It was heavily damaged by the fire. We'll imagine Palermo following him out the what? Yeah, it's just like, as they're doing an the investigation, he's just still convincing them. They walk out of the room, he's still walking behind them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we should hurry up and get started examining everything. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking from Cranny. Been a while since you said that. Alright. There is a bottle of Babbley's ink on Mr. Cochin's desk. And it looks like there's still a lot of ink left inside. The seal is unbroken, so the fire probably couldn't get into the bottle to burn up the ink. Hey, Mr. Palano, it looks like your precious Babbley's ink is all right after all. What the? That's odd. Ambassador, what do you mean by that? Well, it's just that there's something strange about the ink in this neighborhood. What are you going to call? Would you mind elaborating on that statement, then, please? Okay, now we're going to talk to him again. Back to the high precious. I wonder if you might tell me about what you know just about this attraction form of ink. Son of a bitch. Dude, you need to chill. Just thought of it right now, but... Uh... During the second fire, Manny was worried about this, this office, so he came rushing back to it. I called out to him, and when I received no reply, I used my spare key to open the door. But when I did, I was greeted by rolling green flames. The flames were so big that I wasn't able to see into the room at all. The fire was green? What's, what's the cause? Fire hulked out. It's fucking awesome. Hmm. Oh, white crystal oil burns green when it's lit, so you can see by this lantern, see, see? It must have a green lantern. Hmm, and Bobbley's ink is made from the same oil, which means it would also burn green. Is there black crystal oil, which burns purple? Nerd! You know! I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just I, I don't know if it's just me, are you seeing the grape, uh, kind of, like, similarity, or like, wines and stuff like that, Josh? Alcoholic. Uh, <laughs> I didn't drink. <laughs> no, it's like white grapes are green grapes. All right, yeah. I too had thought it was many things that had caught on fire. That's why I was surprised to find that there was still a bottle of ink left on his desk. The right, case of the perplexing green flames. Talk about a mystery. What exactly was that caught on fire in here? Literally everything else. Well, there you go. Right, well, let's take a look at the files. My faith in this case. Or with anything else, I need to look at the uh, desk. I don't know. Uh, I think there's something else we need to look at the desk. Yeah, it's the open... the open... drawer. The open drawer. It appears that this disc also fell victim to the fire. It doesn't look too damaged. Ooh, I think we can rifle through this drawer a bit. Hmm, I suppose we really should take a look. The note. So the deuce. Oh, okay. It's a rather unusual shape for a notepad. I suppose there must be enough souvenir from somewhere. The deuce time. You know what this is. Yep. Uh, it's related to... The note. The Mask 2's note. The shape of this notepad matches the shape of the note we found. Hey, you're right. What is it? It looks like something straight out of Monument... Monument Valley. What? I don't know. Planner. 
I use that notepad is a souvenir from somewhere in your country. You've been collecting them for the purpose of studying them, you see. Why don't you recreate them? Yes, I do. I do think you have a passion about it. Oh, where would you like to see my souvenir? Oh, would you like to see my souvenir collection? I'd love to show it to you. I don't think I want to see it. I should have been burnt to crisp by the fires. Basilino, I was wondering if you might recognize the handwriting on this note. Um, this looks like Manny's handwriting. I see. In that case, oh, did you figure something out? This note was found in Alabas. Specifically, it was found being firmly grasped by Mother Mizask too. The Mask too? Then this note. Yes, it was a request from Mr. Koji for the Mask Two to steal the Prima Doc statue. But Manny tried to steal the Alabask Prima Doc statue. Oh no! We will know for sure if we could write it on a handwriting analysis. Ambassador, do you have any documents that were handwritten by Mr. Cochin? Yes, I can gather a few, give them to you. I'll have to ask Detective Gunter later to run the analysis. I can't believe that many would even think of doing something like this. Do you have any idea as to why he would have requested the theft of the statue? There is one possibility, but mind you, it's just my personal speculation. Anything you can tell me would be a great help, Ambassador. Great, now we have to talk to him again. Back to Polina. Come hither, Edgeworth. Why did he make me do this? I believe that you have said that you might have an idea as to why Mr. Cochin hides the mask too and can't tell me from over there whilst I'm standing over here. Actually, I fear it may be my fault. I was telling you earlier. We were to determine which statue was the real one as a part of today's event. And because of the Yadagarasso and the fire here, that got cancelled, didn't it? Haha, <laughs> I'm actually relieved that the rest of the event has been cancelled. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that shit again. You see, Baval's statue, well, it's just a replica. And then Mr. Coach, you know that about Baval's Prima Duck statue? Of course he knew. That's why he was the only person I could consult with. We'd have to do something once our statue was revealed as a replica. We expected I was very nervous today, and that this, as this would impact our country's authority. Yes, I understand. Well, then I told many of my concerns. He said, let me handle it. It'll be all right, baby. <laughs> well, find a way to make sure you're the ambassador of the reunited Dopia. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, At the time, I thought he was just trying to cheer me up, but uh, it was when I saw that note, I realized, damn, bitch, he crazy. <laughs> Mr. Cochin conducted a lot of businesses behind your back. I assume he did, he did all that to ensure that you're the next Kodokian ambassador. But why was he trying so hard, I wonder? He was so much better at getting things done than me, than I ever was or will be. I don't know the answer to why he was trying so hard yet, but I suspect he had an ulterior motive in mind beyond just simple kindness. George! He found, oh shit, he found us. Uh, here you are, Mr. Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, have you collected the information that I requested? Nope. Oh, Most sorry. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I've got it all right here, sir. Yeah, you go, okay? Feel free to have a look. It's all for you, after all. What is all this, Gummy? Hello, if I know. I think it's information on the room that I got from the Embassy and, Inter and Interpol people. Now we know exactly what, uh, how this room was before and after the fire. Good work, Detective. <gasps> It was nothing, sir. 
so, so happy you praised me. Oh, I'm an expert at getting people to talk. I thought it was the other way around. You're an expert. You're an expert at having people uh, talking to people about things they shouldn't know about. Wow, uh, you two remind me so much of my father and Uncle Dad. What do you mean? As prosecutor and detective, your dynamic is just like theirs back in the day. What? When I cut his salary? Yeah. <laughs> Well, don't you worry, I'm going to find my own wonderful partner someday, and when I do, I'm going to become a good Yadagarasu, just like my father, right? Please don't ask me questions which I have no answers to, Kay. Then let me ask you a question that I do, that you do have an answer to. Can I take Gummy? <laughs> yes. Get him out of my sight as fast as you can. And thus, a Faraday, Ace Thief, as the next game was confirmed. However, I can say that it is one truly wonderful thing to find a partner you can trust. Is you ever haven't found one yet? Hey, <laughs> you bet. So, what now, Mr. Edgeworth? Well, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Yes? That gadget, Mr. Thief, is it? That thing you call your secret weapon. Oh, you mean Little Thief. <laughs> You're coming to rely on it, aren't you? I don't need a crush like that. I'm only asking because I need it for the investigation. From the information Detective Gumshoe gathered and the ambassador's testimony, I'd like you to please locate the room as it was during the third floor fire. You got it. All right, here we go. Dark skies of evening, when no other bird dares take wing, one alone remains all seeing. Do you have now, to say this every the true time? power of a real modern-day Robin Hood. Yes. Do you have to say this every time? It seems there are things that other. Other things like what the ambassador mentioned that have changed. We know what the room was like before and after the fire, but this is during the fire. Mm. It's possible you might find his skin, which the, per the person K saw used as well. Was that a fear? He saw a long fire feeling hot, hot. Hello, <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is this? Is this sort of light show was not told about? This? It's this Tetris is the power of a true vigilante. It's recreating the room with the info I inputted. This is Tetris really? 101. Fuck you. <laughs> really, this is certainly one interesting device you have there, Miss Faraday. Would you like to sell it? Um, I believe it's about time to return to investigation. And we'll stop here. We'll see you guys next time on Miles Edgeworth. Ace Attorney Investigations. See you around. Um... Uh -huh.